What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. And this is a follow-up video to the one I just made about how if you're going on one of these pro-Pan-African or pro-Black go back to Africa vacation tour packages and guys that's overcharging you, you know, you're being scammed financially, right? Monetarily, right? Because you're being overcharged. And I also suggested that you could do it yourself much cheaper, you know? So, but what I'm going to do in this video real quick, I'm just going to tell you how I do it, right? How I do it and how many other people do it. And you can also follow along with this and you can do it too. And it will work for you. Keep in mind, most of you guys, you know, y'all still have a stigma of being afraid of Africa, so you're afraid to operate by yourself. But most of you guys don't have a stigma about the Middle East, and you'll go to Dubai, no problems. You'll hop on a plane, buy a ticket, and go to Dubai. You'll hop on a plane and go to Europe. You'll hop on a plane and go to South America. You'll hop on a plane and go anywhere. But when it comes to Africa, you guys feel like there is something so overwhelming that you need help, right, to protect you, blah, blah, blah. No, just, it's still that psyche that's within... Hold on, let me peep this real quick. Peep this, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk and show you this. Y'all see that, right? <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. White man got his African freaking dashiki on, huh? Can't tell him nothing. <laughs> but anyway, all right. So this is how you do it, right? So go on like Priceline.com first. If you're going, you're probably going for an event, right? Or let's say there's some places of interest that you want to go to. First thing first, you Google the place of interest that you want to go to. Go to Google, Google it, look at Google Maps, open it up, look around, right? Google Maps will show you what hotels are around that area, right? Do a trip, do a Google Map from the airport, right, to the, to the hotel that's nearest to the event or the place that you want to go to, right? So you'll understand the mileage. You'll know the time frame of driving and all that. So, because you know you buy your plane ticket on Priceline, Orbitz and all that, right? So you're at the airport. You don't have to worry about transportation from the airport. There will be a million trillion people trying to take you wherever you want to go. Sometimes the hotel will provide you with, with a driver. The hotel will send a driver to the airport with your name and they will pick you up. A lot of airports do that. I mean, a lot of hotels do that. So you can have that done too as well, right? And so... You're at the hotel and from the hotel, which is your op base of operation when you're in another country. From that hotel, you need to just look at all the different places of interest you want to go to around it. How far they are. Some may be two hours out. Some may be an hour out. Some are 30 minutes out, right? When you get to the hotel or you can do this on the phone before you get to the hotel. You can call the hotel. You can ask the people that, that's there because they most likely they speak English. Even if it's a French speaking country. If it's an American hotel, they're going to be somebody's going to speak English. Everybody somewhere speaks English. You can ask them, hey, you know, I plan on going to these places. Is this hotel convenient for those locations? They'll say yay or nay, or they'll recommend you to go to another hotel, right? And then once you find the hotel you want to go, go to TripAdvisor, right? Look at people's experience at this hotel if there's any information, right? If there's any information, you can look at the, um, you can look at the, um, the trip advisor and see what people have to say. Also, the places you want to go to, the, the points of interest or the event of interest, look it up on TripAdvisor. Look to see what other people had to say about it, their experiences, uh, their recommendations. They may say, you know what, don't stay at this hotel. You should stay at this other hotel. Or, 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 or instead of ca catching the, the minibus, catch a cab. Da, da, da. They'll give you plenty of information on what it is you need to do when you get there right so once you book your hotel on priceline or orbits or any of these these regular these um trip sites right your hotel your flight always get a round trip ticket i don't know some people are so crazy they get one-way tickets all right so you book that book your hotel call the hotel look to see if it's conveniently located to where you want to the places you want to go when you get there hook up with a cab driver once you find a couple cab drivers you keep those cab drivers those cab drivers will take you everywhere you want to go. They will be your interpreters. They'll be your, they'll be your, um, your, they'll help you not get scammed. They'll do everything. But you got to make sure you take care of your drivers. You feed, when you eat, your, your driver, he your friend, he with you. You just rented a friend. You rent a driver in Africa, especially in Nigeria, you just rented a friend, all right? Treat that person like a friend. Like if you were paying for somebody else's 
you know, day out, that's how you treat them. And they will be with you all day. It ain't gonna cost you no more than a hundred bucks. You'll have somebody all day, maybe a tad bit more depending on how far you wanna go out. But you'll have them all day and they will, they will call you and make sure they pick you up when you wanna be picked up the next day and take you anywhere you wanna go. So that's that's how you do it. You don't need to pay four, five, six, seven thousand dollars when you could just pay, pay a couple, maybe fifteen hundred dollars for your ticket at the most, depending on when you buy it. And you pay a couple hundred dollars for your driver. You take care of them. Food's gonna cost them what two, three dollars. You be feeding them a day. You know, is 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 that minimal? Okay. So that's just a little little bit of advice I can give you. And you can take this the same formula. This is what I do when I go to various different countries. And I've been doing this for quite a while, so I would say I'm an expert in traveling to various different countries, especially Solo Dolo, Manolo, right? And with groups, you can take this advice, implement this on your plan, and I'll tell you, you will have more money to spend on the things you want to spend on when you get there. Because if you're spending all your money on a vacation package and this and that, you ain't gonna have no money left over to buy the trinkets and all the daggone shot glasses and the and all the other crap that all your, your family and friends want you to bring back when it's time to come back. Because most people spend all their money on vacation on the way back because they buying all these obligatory gifts for the people that didn't want to go with them right anyway i hope this advice helps some of you guys that's all i got to say it's afro think tank learn something i'm out